Welcome back to How This Mom Does It, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how I teach second grade math. We do have a base curriculum that we use, but I pull in a lot of different resources to keep math fun and exciting for my second grader. If you're interested in seeing some of the resources that we're using and how I put it all together, stay tuned. So our main curriculum that I teach out of is Math Mammoth. And I bought this, well, I think a little over two years ago. Um, we used Math Mammoth last year for first grade, and we're using the second grade text work text this year. I got it on a deal where I got grades one through three um, for a really good price. I think it was like around $60. I, I don't remember exactly, but um, it was pretty inexpensive for three years worth of math. And it is a complete curriculum. But I feel like we need extra practice, and that's really how it's set up is if you have a child who um, doesn't like to do the extra drill and is pretty decent at math and they pick up on things quickly, then you can just do the work text and get through it and they get what they need. But if you have a child who maybe needs more practice, then they give you the basics and you have the opportunity to add on to it. And I like that because... I like how this teaches it. It's a work text format and it's easy for me since I am not a math person and teaching math kind of intimidates me. Even though this is like first and second grade math and it's not that difficult, I want to make sure that I'm teaching it in a way that's giving her a good foundation for future math classes. And um, I know that if I'm doing something like Math Mammoth that she's going to be getting that. But I can add in fun extra resources that are more her style. She likes the pictures and the colors and it to be exciting and Math Mammoth is very kind of I think to the point um, which for me I would love but for her she needs the fun extra stuff. So I add in the fun extra stuff to give her extra practice and to do some different things that Math Mammoth doesn't do and it really works well together for us. But in terms of Math Mammoth, I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit more um, about what Math Mammoth looks like. So for each chapter, they basically do a little intro, talking about what they're going to be going over and giving a little information. And then she will um, list out what topics they're going to be covering and then give um, links to internet resources that you can go to for games and um, extra practice and just some fun things. And then it gets into the lessons. So I'm going to show you kind of what a lesson looks like. So for instance, this one is how many hours passed. And so the lesson, the teaching part, is right above it. And even sometimes in the teaching piece of it, there will be like a question to answer um, just as a sample. Um, and then you get right into the work. So it's a pretty short little lesson. And then you get into the practice part of it. And then it just moves on from there. So, and you can see that it's not a lot of colors and pictures. So it's very to the point. There are some pictures um, in different parts. We're in calendar right now. And that's what we're doing is clocks and calendars. But I have seen a few color pictures here and there. Um, they do a lot of dots and 10 frames and that type of thing. Um, but it's, it's not a big colorful curriculum. But it's to the point and it teaches it very clearly. And it's very easy to understand. The way she words things, I feel like it just makes sense. And I've read some other math books and different curriculum that I've looked at. And I feel like it's explained very clearly here and maybe not so much in other books. And that's just my opinion and how I and how I am with math and how my daughter is, this format just works good for us. So that's a little bit about what um, Math Mammoth looks like. And they do give you reviews and tests and all the answers and all that's included. But that is how I teach the main lessons in our math curriculum. 
So in addition to Math Mammoth, which is our main curriculum, I use several other resources to enrich um, our curriculum. And the first thing that I do is a daily math review. And some people call it a daily math meeting, daily math calendar. Um, I typically call it a daily math review, but it's basically all the same. It's reviewing basic uh, math concepts for the grade level that you're in. That's pretty much how I understand it. And that's basically what we do. I have a sheet that goes over basic math concepts that are review that we don't want to forget as we move on to other things. And I've used two different resources or products that I've found, and they're both off of teacher, Teachers Pay Teachers, and I will provide links below. But I thought I'd show you first what we used last year because I really think it's a great product, and at the time it was free, and I believe it still is. Uh, it's a math meeting printable calendar wall, and I really like this. And this was a Teachers Pay Teachers. And the first part of the year, first part of first grade, my daughter was still um, really working on how to write, um, writing her numbers, starting to write them 1 to 100, and um, learning how to write the months and tally marks and that kind of stuff. So this really gave a great, um, great practice for that. So the first part was a calendar and the days in school, writing things out. And then the second part was a number numbers chart, coin cup, days, pattern, weather. And as the year went on, I switched to the second sheet, which is basically a one-page review, but it adds some extra things in. So it adds some skip counting, some odds and evens. Um, it has the hundreds chart still up here, um, and time, and just some a couple extras that weren't on the um, the first one. And I like this. I would print this double-sided just to save paper. And we did keep these because I like to keep track of our days in school. So we would see where we were at. And then when we got to 100 days of school, we have a party. So that was just a fun thing that we did um, to track our days in school and um, give them incentive to, to keep working on these. Is Once we get to 100, then we get to have a party. So we had like a little 100 days of school party, and, and it was a hit. Uh, but in terms of the math calendar sheet and how I was using this one, I would have her write with the calendar starting at the first day of the month and write and, and write the numbers until the day that we were on. So say Monday was the first, she would write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 if we were on day 8 of the month. So I wouldn't have her write the whole calendar every single day just up into the day that we're on. But as the month goes on, she's writing more and more until she ends up writing the whole month's worth of numbers. So it's kind of like a sneaky way of getting them to practice writing numbers 1, um, one through 30 or 1 through 29, 28 or whatever month we're in. Um, but a sneaky way to get them to start practicing writing higher numbers because eventually I wanted her to finish writing her hundreds chart, and she did, and she became really good at it actually and I'll show you another thing I that I used for that um, but a sneaky way to get them to write their numbers and it's more of a gradual build to it so it's not just here here's a sheet write your numbers one through a hundred so I like that um, I also like the skip counting practice and what I would do for the skip counting I would just highlight as she did it um, and the coin cup and the mystery bag the mystery bag I would just choose an activity that we had different like dominoes or dice or some kind of fun math game and add that in there. And then the time, I had a Judy clock that I would um, put on a certain time and she'd have to write it. Coin cup, I'd give her a certain number of coins, she'd have to count them. Um, tally marks, I would tell her and, and so on. So I really like this product. I thought it was great. So um, I will definitely include this below. It just got... She kind of grew out of it. She It just wasn't as challenging anymore. She could do it really quickly. So when I was looking at what I wanted to do this year, I wanted something that would grow with us a little more. So I found this, and I went through a lot of different daily math reviews trying to find something that I thought would work for us, and I really liked this one. So I will provide a link below to this, um, but it will grow with us for a while. So it has the same basic format in each of them but it does change a little bit and adds a little more difficulty as it goes on so it still has a little bit of the calendar 
Um, it's got fact families, odds and evens, time. Um, it does have our hundreds chart, which I wanted something that, um, that did do our hundreds chart because we do count our days in school. But as it goes on, eventually it gets to arrays and multiplication, and um, it, it definitely will grow with us for a while. So I will provide a link below, but basically I store our daily math review in our binder, and I have a video on our monthly binder and how I put all that together, but this goes in the first math section, and that's basically how we start our day and then we go on to our daily math minutes. So I'll show you that right now. So the next piece of curriculum that I use is our daily math minutes. And we did first grade last year, and we're doing second grade this year. I also have the grammar minutes, and we did that last year, and we're doing a second grade this year for grammar minutes as well. My daughter loves these. She actually asked to do these. So when your kid asks to do math, you buy it for them. So I made sure I picked this up for her this year because um, she really does enjoy doing them. And basically, it's a one-page math review. And it's got a lot of different problems. There is no color, um, but there are um, pictures. And the problems is like one problem from a, each type. So there's not a lot of um, problems on it that are the same. It's not drill. It's just a one quick problem and then another quick problem and another quick problem and she can do them very quickly and independently. So I give her one math minute a day per week and um, she loves it. So basically um, I take that and I put them into, I copied the front so I can remember what this was, and I put them into this section um, of our monthly binder. So. That is our daily math minutes. So the next thing I do for our math curriculum is a number writing book. And this is book one from last year. It's a two-part where it has a book one and book two. Um, so she finished writing her numbers one to a thousand. And then this year she's going to be, and she's already started writing her numbers from 1,000 to 2,000. And it comes together as one set and it even gives you, I believe, a certificate of completion at the end just for fun if you'd like to. So um, I will include a link to that below, um, but I really like this. And I basically have her do one page a month. And that basically takes us through the year. If she goes faster, then we go faster um, or slower if she goes slower. It took her, we did it a lot quicker last year than I'm doing it this year, and she did it in just two or three months, I believe. We worked on it a lot quicker, but this year I'm kind of stretching it out and having her do a page a month, and we're going to get to 2,000. So that is also stored in the um, binder in the next math tab. So that's how we um, work on our number writing. So the last thing I use is McGraw-Hill's My Math, and I do not use this as our main math curriculum. And I don't even follow the directions all the way in it. Um, I basically use it for my extra practice. It's got a lot of color and pictures, and it's a little more exciting and fun. And that is what my daughter likes. So we do the teaching out of Math Mammoth. I use some of the extra resources that I've already shown you. And then I use this for my extra practice. Now, when we do do, we don't go through the book in their order. I pick out sheets that I think will work for us, and then anything we complete, I tear out and put in our binder. So when we go to meetings with our charter, then they can look at our work and everything's there. The thing that I really like, actually, about the My Math is their online um, piece that they give you. And I really like the videos they, that help teach the concepts. My daughter loves them. Um, and she likes the games and um, all the extra stuff that the online My Math gives us, she really loves. So I'm not really using so much of the workbook, just some extra practice sheets, but we are using the online piece for fun extra math um, practice, and she's really enjoying that. So that is how I am teaching math. That's our last um, math resource that we are using. 
And those are the resources that I use to teach second grade math. I use Math Mammoth as my base curriculum, and then I add in extra resources to really keep it fun and exciting and customize and tailor our math curriculum to my daughter's learning style. I hope you like this video. Uh, check me out on Facebook for updates on our homeschool projects that we're working on. Also, as other resources and freebies that we love and use in our homeschool, I share on Facebook. So check me out there. And until next time, if you like this video, click like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.